What's up, everybody? I'm Martavius. And I'm Carrie. And, and we, we are, are the, the Young, young fam. fam. I'm so excited. Our Airbnb is finally finished. It's taken us 40 long days. Uh, lots and lots of hard work, but we're so excited to show you a tour. You ready to do this? Yes. Turn around and say Everybody cheese. Everybody say cheese. Three. All right, there three, we go. Two, so we didn't do a lot to the outside, but wait till you see what we have in store. You like my rug? We had a lot of painting because this is an older house. Okay, I'm so excited to show you one of my favorite rooms. I envisioned this for two months, so I'm so excited to finally see it. I saw these velvet chairs and I really, really wanted them because they're so soft and so comfy and so stylish. I am worried a little bit about stains, but that's okay. That's what Scotch Guard is for. And then I saw these cabinets on Amazon and how modern, like they're seriously so beautiful. So we had to get this. And I think this is a 65 inch TV so that you can relax. One thing I really liked about the house when we first got it was these really, really big windows and how big this space was because I feel like when people book a house, they want, you know, to be able to let their kids run and move around. And I love how this full main level uh, allows everybody to just have more space to, you know, hang out on this beautiful couch that I also got off on Amazon. So I wanted to do the black and white theme because we're doing milk and cookies. That's the name of the house. So that's why everything is supposed to tie in with the black and the white. And I like this um, game that actually worked out perfectly. And I want, I did go really bold on the painting because it's supposed to be a vibe. It's supposed to be just like a fun place that you can come and chill. Okay, next up, one of my favorite places is this beautiful dining area. Uh, everybody, I posted this on Instagram, everybody's been talking about the dining table. So when we first bought the house, they actually didn't even have the dining area in here, but we decided this had enough space to put the dining room table here. And then I saw this really cool vision of adding this mirror, which has really cool settings. So let's say you want to jump and party. There's party mode. Or if you just want to read in the morning or have coffee. Uh, I just thought this was a really cool, it just added to the vibe of the house. And then you can also take like really cute, you know, selfies in the, and so it just added to the milk and cookies vibe. Next up, the kitchen. And you know I had to put the selfie wall in. So we did this grass panel. And I thought this was so funny exercise. I thought you said extra fries with a walnut bench. And again, carrying out the black and white theme of the milk and cookies. And I just thought this would be a really cute place like to get a large fry from McDonald's and sit here and you know take selfies with your friends or like a family photo. And then I was gonna have people tag us on Instagram and say, hey, we stayed at the milk and cookies house. Okay, when we first bought this house, they actually, had their dining room in here and then where the selfie wall was they had a coffee bar but i felt the kitchen was a little bit too cramped with how they had it set up so we actually moved the coffee bar over here it's got the creamer the coffee mugs and if you open this up we have a lot of ray dunn mugs that they can choose from and we also have a branded coffee mug that they could take pictures with and take us on Instagram. Then you have this really, really large kitchen. I did put a lot of fun things through the house because I'm funny and that's the vibe. It's just to have a good time and to do, have lots of laughs and create lots of fun memories. I wanted to leave the kitchen open because you had to be able to actually sit down and take a photo, like an Insta-worthy photo, and you're going to need that space, and you're going to want that lighting. So that was really one of the reasons I wanted to take that big dining room table out of here. Okay, next up, the king throne room. <laughs> so this is the main bathroom on the floor, and when we bought this house, it had a really, really old 
toilet so i wanted to put a bidet in and you guys this thing is sweet it has so many options automatic opening it has heated water heated seats the first time i sat on it i was like oh this is nice uh it also dries drying and um and then it also cleans there's just a lot of features and you are definitely going to enjoy your performance <laughs> This is why I bought this fun sign. It says, please remain seated for the entire performance. So once you're all finished, you just flush and close the toilet. Next up, the master suite features a king bed. When we first bought this house, this was actually just a guest room that was collecting a lot of dust. So we had to do a lot of cleaning, uh, literally clean this entire place up and down. And again, carried out the black and white theme, adding in the Cognac blanket and pillows, just like I did in the dining room with the Cognac chair. So I feel like it just keeps the whole theme consistent through the house. You're gonna see these exact same colors. And then there's also blackout blinds. And I felt like that was really important because I need my sleep and I don't wanna see any light when I'm sleeping. Then we also have a charging port so that guests can charge their phones. They don't have to search for a, a charger or like a place to plug their phone in. The other thing I got on Amazon, I absolutely love this fan. It's a modern light, but it's also a fan. And if you see, it's gonna get super windy. You guys, I wanna put one of these in my own house. Like this is so cool. I already told my husband that I'm ready to stay here. <laughs> okay. Next bedroom on the main floor, we have this queen bed again with the cognac pillow and the black and white curtains, like just little details like this. I also love these lamps. They light up at the top and the bottom. We did do a sound machine because I personally had the baby's cribs popped up in here and then it just is a soothing sound so anybody can get some sleep even if you have kids. I love a good sound machine. Also throughout the house you're going to see these really cool hand signs and little people just to add a little fun touch where this actually means I love you in sign language or you could also do like this and say rock on. So I figured there's going to be a lot of moving of the finger. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> people can play with the hands it's just a really cool little unique thing that we have going on next up we are going to go up the stairs you're gonna be greeted again by two little people it says yoga class I thought you said pour a glass which kind of ties in the kitchen uh, selfie wall with the exercise question mark so again the little wooden people When you come upstairs, there are two queen beds up here. Again, the Cognac, the black and white theme, the blackout curtains, and we also have the cool uh, hand sign on the left side. When we first bought this house, this was actually their master closet. So this side was their closet and the other side was their where they slept this hole was their master bedroom but we turned it into two sleeping areas another queen bed with the cognac the black and the white the blackout curtains and we also have fans up here if you i personally love sleeping with a fan and then behind here is a, a master closet that we're also going to be putting toys in here for the, for children if they I figured this would be a really cool place if you had kids they would just want to have like a sleepover up here uh, we also have another fun wood person some plants and this beautiful modern dresser this also uh, pulls in other places of the house with the lines right here this pulls in as the lines are on the queen beds and in the living room the lines were on the cabinets and then downstairs which i'm going to show you next the lines are on the couch so you're going to see a lot of themes being pulled in uh, through the entire house now we are going to take you to the basement this is definitely such a hangout area i feel like there's going to be a lot of fun memories made down here 
This is actually the couch I was talking to you guys about with the lines and it is so comfy. When I saw this, I actually wanted to put this in our own my own house, but my husband was like, no, you bought this for the rental, but you guys, you just literally sink in here. And if you wanted to, this could actually sleep two people. Uh, my kids, when we were putting this together, they said they don't want to leave. Riley already claimed this as his couch because it is so stinking comfy. Uh, we also have this really cool feature wall. This was actually here when we moved in, but we added the 70 inch TV uh, for you to enjoy while you're sinking in the comfy couch. And I had to get this fun uh, sayings that we're going to be switching up the sayings and just make it again. So you just have a fun time, smile, laugh, make lots of memories. Then we also have this infinity game table that has just tons and tons of games. So instead of having to buy Monopoly and lose it, you have Monopoly right here. Hungry Hungry Hippo, our kids love. Just It has so hundreds of board games already on here that you can just start playing and having so much fun. Our kids absolutely love this. Okay, this was actually a solid wall when we bought this place, but we knew that we needed to add another bathroom in order to sleep as many people as we wanted to. So this is where we added the bathroom. So this was not here when we bought it. It was a lot of work and this is why it took so long. When you first come in, you're gonna see this vanity again with the lines. And then we also carried out the black and the white, the milk and cookies theme. I also love this uh, rectangular curved mirror and the lights with the X just add a little bit of a detail. Then we added another shower and a bathtub. Again, carrying out the black and the white theme. So it's a brand new bathtub and shower. And I also added these towel rack walls because it feels like a hotel. Uh, I just think it like, makes beautiful decor and then if you get out of the shower you just already have it ready to go. And my husband and I actually laid this floor that we are standing on right now. It was our first time ever laying floor but we did it uh, with a little help of Buddy and my dad. <laughs> this was actually their storage area before so we had to hire a plumber and an electrician. He had to break up the entire cement floor to add the plumbing in, to plumb for the shower. Uh, this was such a process. They were here for weeks trying to get this all plumbed in electric, for electrical. Uh, my dad actually came and helped frame and Tay and I drywalled and mud and painted and it was just like an entire process this definitely is the reason that this house wasn't ready in the two weeks we were imagining but that's okay we are 35 days in and we are ready to rock <laughs> next up we have this beautiful egg chair with a neon like good vibes I wanted to create a lot of insta-worthy places that you could just sit down and take a picture and post it on Facebook and tag us uh, we have this little light switch. It'll turn the good vibes on. <laughs> the good vibes on and the good vibes off. But we were going to keep the good vibes going. But before we go into the game room, this was actually just an exercise room. It wasn't finished. And because we started the process of the bathroom, we decided, you know what? We have this extra space. My husband said, let's turn this into a game room. I was skeptical, but I'm so glad we did it because now even I want to come here and play a ping pong match, babe. I think I'm going to win. But as you come into the game room, you are going to see the foosball table. We also have a 55 inch TV that you could watch the game on, play some music. Uh, back here we have our little tiger friend because this is actually where our water shuts off so we don't want people standing on there but I just thought this tiger was such a cool it just makes it a whole vibe like take a picture with what we should call a milky or something <laughs> Cookie. our cookies, cookies the tiger okay we also got this uh, this was actually not in the vision when we first got this place we had kind of talked about a game room but it was never something that we were gonna do but because it's ended up being such a big space, we decided to put the ping pong table and you can get your ping pong balls and your paddles over here. 
We also have this super fun uh, ring toss with our milk and cookies, hope your stay is sweet sign. Then we put a place, a ledge that you can put your drinks on. You can sit up here, watch the game, listen to some music. Again, pulling in the black and white theme and the fun hand vibes. And wait till you see this part. Let's say you want to make it a real vibe. You turn the lights off and you can just hang out. The other thing, when we first bought this house, like I said, this whole space was completely open. This was their storage area with just a washer and dryer. None of this was framed. So we did a lot of framing, drywall, uh, lots of paint. The entire room was painted. The floor was painted. Uh, so what you're in, we actually painted the ceiling in here black as well to continue on with the black and white theme. This door was also not here. None of this was here. So we're going to show you now that we actually have a laundry area. This was extra space, so we just decided to turn it into a utility room and a storage area and just clean it up and make it look nice. Now we're going to take you to the other games outside. We do have a brand new grill that you can enjoy the outside summers. <laughs> I don't know if you want to grill in the winter, but you can if you want. And then we first bought this house, they actually let the yard go. Uh, the weeds were probably a foot tall. I mean, completely weeded. They didn't have any um, of the siding put up, none of the mulch. I mean, it was literally just completely let go. But we saw the potential in it and we love that it has a fence that is completely fenced in. So my aunt and uncle and Tay dug up the entire backyard and replanted the grass, added in the mulch, added in the landscaping, and then my husband had this idea to add some games. So let's go see him. Look at this fresh grass that we did not have before. Looks beautiful. And we also have a sitting area. And over here, we have an official cornhole tic-tac-toe. So Somebody stands here, somebody stands there, and you play tic-tac-toe to see who wins. We had so much space that my husband had these great ideas to just give people like a reason to be outside and have fun things to do while you're here, which I actually love because I feel like when you book a place, you're just gonna sit inside and watch TV, but because we have these fun things to do, you can have the kids running around, you can have the adults playing on the games or even the kids could play these games it just feels like a really fun place like you could even have a birthday party here or a like a 40th party here or not like a party because you know that's against airbnb vibes but i'm saying like a gathering and i feel like a lot of memories are going to be created in this backyard and i know for sure our kids already want to play here now this next area is a bonus because most uh places don't actually have this much yard so, my husband had this great idea to add an official cornhole game. So, if you just walk down these cement steps, now you're in a whole new yard space. And on these cornhole boards, we actually have our Milk and Cookies logo, continuing on with the black and the white theme. This would be such a fun area. I can just see a lot of summer spent here and people just having such a good time. And then in the middle, it's black and white. Again, continue on with the theme. It says, let's go. Before there was a lot of weeds down here and they kind of had let the place go. So there was a lot of work done here. A lot of the tilling of the grass, getting all the weeds out. And we are currently growing grass, which the, when you see it, there will be grass very, very soon. Uh, and it's just going to be such a fun place to come, hang out, and enjoy the outdoors. Now, let's see the garage. Living in South Dakota, having a garage is a plus because, you know, in the winter it does snow here. So, we do have a space that if you have a car, you can, or a bike, or whatever you have, a truck, and you don't want it to get snowed on, we have a place that you can park your, um, 
vehicle so that you don't have to scrape off that snow in the morning. We also have a huge long driveway that you have extra places to park. Uh, you can fit at least three regular sized vehicles in the driveway alone, plus the garage that gives four parking spaces so that in the winter when they do have to plow, <laughs> they're not towing your vehicle. And that's actually a full tour of the Milk and Cookies house. And we are so excited, cannot wait to host you soon where you guys can create so many fun memories. Take all the selfie photos and tag us on social media. Turn around, say Everybody cheese. Everybody say cheese. Three. Three. All right, there three. we go.